morning and welcome. We're coming to you from day two of the Fiji Symposium in Bangalore, the platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me today is His Excellency, Minister of State for Railways and Minister of State for Communications, Independent Charge, Mr. Manod Sinha. Sir, welcome and thank you for being part of this amazing initiative. So just wanted to ask you, how does it feel to be part of the Fiji Symposium, the first ever symposium that too in our home country, India? No, we feel delighted and I am thankful to ITU for giving us the opportunity to hold this symposium. And one more thing I would like to add that uh, in the last three years, the initiatives taken by our government, particularly our leader Narendra Modi ji in the leadership of Mr. Narendra Modi regarding financial inclusion, I think the uh, world is aware of it and the uh, world has recognized our power in IT field. That's why we have got this opportunity and I'm th thankful to ITU. Uh, what are the innovations uh, that are required in policy and regulation to create an enabling environment for digital financial services? The focus on homegrown applications and digital payment gateway has been the core of our idea. And uh, in last uh, three, four years, many such things have happened. I can start with the rupee payment and rupee card, then Kisan credit card, that is farmer's credit card, women's entrepreneur special cards, then Bheem, Bharat interface for payment, then Aadhaar, Jandhan account, I think it was the biggest boom for financial inclusion in our country. And end-to-end uh, -end solution of financial inclusion has been provided by the government of India and uh, Ministry of Electronics and Telecommunication with our ministry, with the financial department, we have worked tirelessly together and there are many options available for Indian people for financial inclusion. And we want to make sure that the network is safe, secure and affordable. The government has taken many decisions and uh, many incentives have been given for digital payments and that's why It uh, has increased many fold, say six folds within a year. Uh, just a little more information if you can give us on Aadhaar and the unified payment interface. What are the benefits? What is in store for everyone? Many social benefit schemes is sponsored by the government of India and the different states. And uh, when we started using Aadhaar, all the leakages has been closed and all the Pilferages has been stopped. The proxy ration cards, proxy people has been checked and a huge amount has been saved by the government. And uh, I hope in coming days every government program will be linked to the Aadhaar and the government and the exchequer will be in a position to save more and more which we will use for creating infrastructure of our country. And uh, just the final question, what would be the next step for uh, digital financial services in our country? Definitely, we are looking for a good regulatory mechanism. And the second thing, the challenge for a secure and safe digital payment. So we are working hard and definitely we will place a mechanism soon that uh, all these payments are safe, secured and affordable and uh, nothing can happen by any cyber attack or, or anything like that. So we are trying hard and we will definitely do it. Thank you so much sir.